All right, Shalom. All praise, honor, and glory is always be unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakak Wadash, which is the Paleo Hebrew for the name of the Heavenly Father, the Ancient of Days, the Creator of all energy, be in Yahweh, and that of His Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, be in Yahweh Shah. Those be the only names in which salvation may be obtained, whether you have been given the Spirit to receive that or not. I'd like to give double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone, who through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah rule all of the nation of Israel well today. Once again, were they even given the spirit to receive that or not? And peace, love, blessing, salutations be unto the elect of the nation of Israel, begin with the hundred and forty and four thousand prophets, all the way down to the one-third men, women, and children who are truly able to receive the glorious light of this gospel, man. All right. Lord willing, this lesson be edifying unto you. And we're going to go ahead and jump into uh, the book of Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 36, right? This is Sirach 36 and 3. It says, lift up thine hands against the strange nation. You see, the strange nations, man. And let them see thy power, because that's what's coming back to the planet Earth, man. You see, just like you had in ancient times... You see, the everybody, everybody knows the story of Pharaoh, man. And I myself, I used to marvel at it. You know, probably, probably, you know, all of us did, man. You see, the, after all this hell that this guy is catching, you still decided to not let the people of Israel go, man. So you caught all these different plagues, and finally, the Heavenly Father destroyed your firstborn, man. You see, so the Heavenly Father rose Pharaoh up just to just to destroy him, man. You see. Just to destroy him and show his power in that. Because you got to understand that Pharaoh was the walking image of the Most High in the eyes of the Egyptians. And so the Heavenly Father chose him, that highest point on the planet Earth in that time, to destroy him and show his power. So the whole world knew and understood the, the, the power of the Heavenly Father. This is a book of Sirach, chapter 16 and verse 15. It says, And the Lord hardened Pharaoh that he should not know him. So the Heavenly Father hardened his heart. Why did he harden his heart? Going on, it says that his powerful works by me might be known to the world. So he rose him up just to destroy him, just to show his power in that man. You see, just to destroy he who was that highest, highest uh, 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 power on the planet. You see, just like who's the highest power today, man? You see, when you go into Revelations, it talks about this beast Roman Edomite system. All right, this government system that's oppressed the entire planet, man. You see, cause the whole world to bow the knee unto him, deceive the whole planet, even to the point in which they're going to all take that RFID microchip, man, that he's going to push upon all, all the world. You see, so the Heavenly Father is going to uproot him and in that show his power to the planet Earth, man. All right. And uh, let's go ahead. This is uh, going back to Sirach chapter 36 and verse 4. It says, as thou was sanctified in us before them. So be thou magnified among them before us. You see that? So as the heavenly father, he, he chose the nation of Israel. He delivered the nation of Israel during that time of the Egyptian captivity. Caused the whole world to know, guess what, man? It's going to happen once again. And the whole world is going to know not only the power of the heavenly father, but they're also going to know who the true 12 tribes of Israel are. Let's go ahead and go to that prophecy real quick, man. Let's see. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 39. In verse 23 it says And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel Went into captivity for their iniquity Because they trespassed against me Therefore hid I my face from them And gave them into the hand of their enemies So fell they all upon the sword So because we transgressed against the heavenly father He gave the, the planet earth into the hands of our enemies Into the hand of the heathen You see as you go into the prophecies, what, what was promised into Israel, man? The inheritance of the planet Earth. You see? They then had it stripped from them because we broke those the, the covenant that we had, and it was given unto a heathen nation. So we gave us into their hands. And the whole world is going to even know that, man. You see? Let's go ahead and go on. It says, verse 24, it says, According to their uncleanliness and according to their transgressions have I done unto them and hid my face from them. Therefore saith the Lord, Power, now I will bring again the captivity of Jacob, and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel. And that's what Yahweh Shai, that's what the Messiah is coming to do, man. That's why when we go into Revelation, what it says, uh, uh, Revelation 19 and, uh, and 11, he's coming to judge and make war, man. You see, he's coming to conquer. He's coming to set down all rule, authority, and power. Let's go ahead and grab just one of these quick verses, man, because you know, we go on and on and on. 
you know, just to prove that point. But we'll go ahead. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse uh, 24. It says, Then come at the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom of God, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and all power. So Yahweh Shai is coming to wage war against those who are in power, man. Beginning with who? Beginning with that Edomite government system, man. You see? Esau Edom. All right, and all his power structure is going to be removed because at, just as Pharaoh was the walking image of the Most High in the eyes of the Egyptian, Esau is the walking image of the Most High in the eyes of this planet, man. So the Heavenly Father is going to remove him. We're going to see the greatest victory ever to be seen on the planet Earth. Look at all these libertarians we have, these so-called saviors, man. Nat Turner, Che Guevara, Emiliano Zapata, goddamn Martin Luther Queen, you see? And none of these guys were able to overcome Esau Edom, man. You see? The only one that, that, that maybe came the closest was Martin Luther Queen, which what he, ta he taught being equal to these people, man. You are above, you see? The 12 tribes of Israel were meant to inherit the planet Earth. The world has taught you, all right, this, this whole, you know, everybody's equal thing, when really that's off, man. You see, the best thing that could come back to the planet Earth is division. You see, the Heavenly Father has divided everybody within their lot, even within your household. You see, there's a proper order within your household that Esau has removed. Teaching you the woman is equal to the to the man or above the man, and now you got all this disorder within the household, kids growing up with broken homes, so on and so forth. You see, even with within the within the ruling class of men, you see the nation of Israel was meant to inherit the planet Earth. And as we got on the last lesson, we go into Isaiah uh, uh, 61. What does it tell you, man? That the nation of Israel is going to glory, or it's lucky the nation of Israel is going to boast themselves in the glory of the heathen. The condition of the planet Earth is something that we are going to boast ourselves in, man. You see. Look at Moab. Look at Elon. Look at these different nations underneath our rule. When you could look at them right now underneath the rule of Esau and everybody's oppressed. Everybody's crying out for salvation, man. This is the only answer, the only foundation in which the true remedy will come back to the planet Earth, which, which relies in division, man. Even though Esau taught you everybody was equal, this, that, and the third, that's not the case, man. All right? Let me go ahead and grab a quick precept just to back that up. <clears throat> Jump back to the book of Sirach here, man. This is the book of Sirach. Uh, Ecclesiasticus 33 and verse 10. And all men are of the ground, and Adam was created of the earth in much knowledge. The Lord hath divided them and made their ways diverse. Some of them hath he blessed and exalted, and some of them hath he sanctified and, he, and set near himself. But some of them hath he cursed and brought low and turned out of their places as the clay is in a potter's hand to fashion it as his pleasure. So man is in the hand of him that made him to render to him as he liketh him best. Good is set against evil and life against death. So the godly is against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. So look upon the works of the most high and there are two and two, one against another. Let's go ahead and grab one more. We'll jump to... Uh, We'll jump, we'll jump to another one in Sirach here, and then we'll grab one more in Deuteronomy, Lord willing, man. This is uh, Sirach night, uh, Sirach 17, and verse 17. For in the division of the nations of the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people, but Israel is the Lord's inheritance. You see, Israel is the inheritance of the Heavenly Father, and let's go ahead and follow that back up in Deuteronomy. So Israel is supposed to inherit the planet Earth. That's why Yahweh Shai is coming to wage war, all right, and rule over the planet, along with his joint heirs, pursuing the... Uh, uh, Revelation 2 and 25 on down, all right, Romans 8 and 16, all right, but anyway, let's go ahead, this is uh, Deuteronomy 32, and chapter, uh, so like chapter 32 and verse 8, it says, when the Most High divided the nations, you see, divided, not made them all equal, but divided, again, he, he created a people to rule, just like the Father is supposed to, is supposed to lead the household, you see, just like even in animals, man. Animals have their role and their lot to play. You see, there's a, a balance in the entire planet. And Esau has set that thing upside down. You see? The natural filters to the ocean have been removed. People are consuming them. Now the whole ocean is going is going uh, 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 polluted and being destroyed. You see? Because those shrimp, crab, and lobster, those natural filters are being consumed by people. And not only that, but now the people are catching all kinds of disease. You see, the, the, the Heavenly Father had divided everything and created order on the planet, man. That's why I said when it was finished, it is done. But Esau came up, turned everything upside down, and the whole planet Earth is in chaos. And we're watching our inheritance be destroyed day by day, man. All right, but anyway, 
Go to Numbers 8, it says, When the Most High divided the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel, for the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump back to Ezekiel. Uh, let's see, where were we? 39 and verse 26. It says, After that they have borne their shame, you see, and all their trespasses. So, hey, we're, we're paying for our inequities right now, man. Suffering underneath the hand of the heathen. And, 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 and but, but now we're able to return through the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, man. That's what the whole meaning of the New Testament was for. Hey, you have a Messiah coming whose, whose blood is going to be spilt for you to be able to return. Going back to the Valley of Dry Bones, that exceedingly great army that's coming from death unto life. You see? Being prepared for the coming of Yahweh Shai. Being prepared for our visitation, man. All right, going on, it says, whereby they have trespassed against me when they dwelt safely in their land and none made them afraid. When I have brought them again from the people, you see, what happened in ancient times within Egypt, what we got liberated and we were given an inheritance of the land. You see, that was that was a foreshadowment of, of what, the victory we're going to see now. We're going to be delivered and we're going to be given the inheritance of the planet Earth, man. You see, and none will make us afraid once more, but this will be that everlasting rule, man, to break this continual cycle of oppression, man. All right. Verse 27, it says, when I have brought them again from the people and gathered them out of the, out of the, Salakia, out of their enemy, Salakia, <laughs> let me slow down. It says, and gathered them out of their enemy's land and am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. You see, in the sight of many nations, all these different nations, they're going to know the Heavenly Father's power. And not only that, but he's going to sanctify us in the sight of all these nations. That's why the scriptures tell you, uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 60, guess what? They're going to bow the knee unto us, man. Just like they bow the knee unto Esau, they're going to bow the knee unto the true inheritors of the planet Earth, man. All right? So one third of us, we're coming back into what it means to be a ruling class mentality, man. We're not okay with just being simple Egyptians out here, man. We know and understand that there is more. It says, and gathered them out of the land of their enemies and sanctified them in the sight of many nations. Verse 28 says, then shall they know that I am Yahweh, their power, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. But I have gathered them unto their own land and have left none of them anymore there. You see, have gathered us into our own land. When you go into the last couple chapters of Ezekiel, it even tells you the breakdown of where that land will be, man. You see, similar to Revelation 21, the 12 gates telling you the likeness of our kingdom, man. And you see, through that kingdom, we're going to rule the entire planet Earth, man. All right, verse 29, it says, Neither will I hide my face any more from them, for I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, saith the Lord power. So, hey, man, you know, we're going to be that connecting point between the planet Earth and the Heavenly Father. And the whole planet Earth will be made to flourish from the blades of grass all the way up to the children of Israel, man. Let's go ahead and jump back into that uh, Sirach 36 and uh, verse 4. It says, As thou was sanctified in us before them, so be thou magnified am among us before them. It's like among them before us. Verse 5. So among, among these heathen, they're going to see us be magnified, man. They're going to see the glory of the children of Israel, man. All right. Verse 5. It says, And let them know thee as we have known thee and how have we known him by great power man it says that there is no god but only thou o, o power so they're, they're gonna see true power man they're gonna see who the true power is here on the planet earth esau has taught you that you could bend the heavenly father to your will oh oh he, he knows your heart this that and the third you see that's that edomite way of thinking man who are you to bend the heavenly father to your will man you ain't god esau has deceived the whole world into thinking that he's some innocent creature you see? But now, he's going to be removed out of power, man. All right? His Roman beast system is going to be removed, man. All right? And the whole planet Earth will be made to flourish after that. It says, <clears throat> verse 6, Show new signs and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm that they may set forth thy wondrous works raise up indignation and pour out wrath and that's what's coming man indignation and wrath is coming to the planet earth and you are going to know and understand that there's a true terrifying power out there man the one only true terrifying power where all these different powers get their strength you see oh you're going to fear these demons you're going to fear you know this guy that guy you're going to fear esau you're going to fear these witches and warlocks 
Guess who the creator of all power is, man? The power of Israel. And the whole planet Earth is going to know and understand that. You ain't going to see these witches and warlocks anymore, man. You're going to see proper order on the planet Earth, beginning with Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and his joint heirs over the planet Earth, man. Which are going to establish his rule, man, theocracy. You see? Going on, it says, verse 7, Raise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. You see, the adversary and the enemy is going to be removed. Esau was raised up to oppress, and he's going to be removed and destroyed, man. The planet Earth finally made to flourish. As you go into Roman, uh, Revelation, the 17th chapter, it talks about the great power uh, 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 of, of this beast system. All right, beginning with those who are at the top, all right, being, being uh, uh, America, all right, and how he spread the whole through the through a whole planet earth he spread his uh, uh westernization and caused everybody to follow after this this darkness that he spread you see and, and from sea to sea and it's going to be given back into the hands of israel man you see from sea to sea the planet earth will be given back into our hands and you're going to see what true what, what what a true rulership truly looks like man all right going on uh verse 8 it says make the time short remember the covenant what covenant man the covenant with israel man you see that's why they were rejoicing at the birth of yahweh Shai. when you go into luke chapter 1 and 67 on down it talks about uh uh, uh what they were saying what they were prophesying about upon the birth of yahweh Shai and john the baptist man knowing and understanding that this was the time that marked the redemption of the nation of israel he remembered his covenant all what these prophets were talking about over and over and over is finally coming to pass man this great victory you see this great redemption so to speak all right it says remember the covenant and let them declare thy wonderful works because even though we were beat so far down man all right the heavenly father he still will remember his covenant you see because he is not a liar he didn't just just make a covenant with the nation of israel and then just decide to go ahead and you know go break it and uh you know this the the, the planet earth is going to stay in the hands of esau till he destroys all manner of life this this ain't the movie of avatar esau is not going to go colonize space and start destroying other planets this is malachi 3 and 6 for i am the lord i change not how do we know he hasn't changed because therefore ye sons of jacob are not consumed so because the children of israel are not consumed the heavenly father that, that in that alone it shows that the heavenly father didn't change man you see we're still here because he still remembered his covenant and to the point in which one third of us are going to return and that's what you're seeing man that's where you're seeing all these israelites throughout the four corners of the earth raise up and leave off these ways of the heathen and come back into the ways of the heavenly father man all right taking on that spiritual circumcision so to speak man all right because all of us are defiled in the flesh you see but one third of us we've been scattered into, into all these different nations we're going to get up and declare who we are man the true 12 tribes of israel you see the spirit quickening you all right if you're able to receive this breakdown man, if you're able to receive the uh, this knowledge this glorious light then you're an israelite man you see in your faith alone, that's all That's all you need, man. But the true 12 tribes of Israel consist of the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, man. You've been beat down, robbed, maimed, you see, but you've also gone all the way back to the time of the Babylonian and Assyrian captivity. You've been scattered into all these nations, man. So you got Israelites growing up and living among these heathen, fighting their wars, being oppressed, living in this continual cycle of debt, and one-third of them are going to come out of that, man. So like I said, if you're able to receive this, all right, then you better pick it up and run, man. Don't don't have that self doubt. Oh no, I'm I'm not I'm not this. I'm not that. You see, I for one, you see, because you might think, oh man, you know, oh, I'm a Moabite. I'm this, you know. I for one, what am I, man? I'm a, I'm a from the tribe of Ishakar, I believe, which would be used to the so-called Mexicans, all right. And what makes up the modern day Mexican, man? The modern day Mexican is made up of because because you had the original, all right, the the original tribe of Ishakar. Right, and then they the, the the scriptures hold the account of them coming into the Americas, all right, and then what had happened is then they got they got conquered by the Spaniards, man, all right, they got conquered by the Spaniards, and then you had the uh, uh, you know the the the, the so-called Negro, all right, was was also shipped into Central America, so you had three different different classes in there, and that's what that's what they call the mestizo. When 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 you know a lot of us you know in the uh, uh, so-called Latino you know history they'll teach you that you know they'll teach you about the mestizo and how you're made up of three people well the scriptures tell you that you know the seed goes through the father you know so at one point in time you know you were a pure a pure seed so to speak man all right you were a pure in the flesh you see according to you know whatever nation you were from all right 
going back to numbers 1 and 18 you see but with that being said we've been we've been done beat up and led into all these heathen nations and you know I, I know for a fact there ain't nothing somebody could tell me to make me think that I'm not an Israelite man I truly believe that I'm an Israelite through faith man all right I know and understand that you know the, 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 this 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 glorious light all I got to do now is, is is endure until the end all right lest I be found to take my hand off the plow and be destroyed man you see so if you're able to receive this man you know pick it up man run and let that faith increase and increase into the point of immortality man you see upon our visitation we are going to be made incorruptible if we endure to that point if we do not bow the knee unto Esau, if we do not take this RFID microchip, man, no one will accept his vaccination, you see? No one understand who the true enemy is, man. The true enemy that is going to be removed as we just read. But anyway, let me go ahead and keep reading, man. It's a lock here. Uh, this is uh, Sirach 36 and verse 9. It says, Let him that escapeth be consumed by the rage of fire, and let them that perish, it's lock here, let them perish that oppress the people. So, this, like I said, this great oppressive will is going to be broken, man. All right? It says, Smite in asunder the heads of the rulers of the heathen that say there is none other but we. You see, the heathen, guess what? The heathen try to make themselves be God. There's nobody but us. You see, the scriptures tell you in the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 that he enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death, man. He is the harbinger of death. You see? He'll make a desert not only out of your home, but out of his own. You see? Book of, the book of Obadiah tells you that, hey, you, the thief will go in and, and steal till he has enough. But Esau, he will take everything. And that's exactly what he's done, man. Oppress the entire planet with a continual stroke. And now he's going to be removed. Going on, verse 11, it says, Gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit thou them as from the beginning. You see, all the tribes of Israel, the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, the Heavenly Father is going to gather you, elect up, and inherit you as the beginning. You see? But now it'll be the everlasting rulership, man. Be receiving true glory. You thought there was glory in ancient times. What it say in King, King Solomon's kingdom, the, the, the silver was more abundant than rocks. Just wait till, till we come into perfection through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, man. Those laws and commandments written within your heart and within your mind, as spoken of in Hebrews, the eighth chapter, the eighth verse on down, all right, that you're going to cause the whole planet Earth to know and understand the power of the Heavenly Father, that you know what you will have to treat teach their neighbor anymore because that governing body will be perfect man the law uh, 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 the laws and the principles of the how by Yao Shai that will govern the planet earth by written within your heart and within your in your mind having nothing to hinder your judgment man all right but anyway going on it says verse 12 O Lord have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name and upon Israel whom thou hast named thy firstborn O be merciful unto Jerusalem, the holy city, the place of thy rest, fill Zion with thine unspeakable oracles, and thy people with thy glory. Give testimony unto those that thou that it's lucky. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. Who has he possessed from the beginning? Israel, man. He's given us these testimonies, these breakdowns, to be able to cast that net and gather in the elect, man. Alright? Going on, it says. And raise up the prophets that have been in thy name. Reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophets be found faithful. And that name, as I said, is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Pursuing the Acts 4, chapter 4 and verse 12. There is no other name whereby salvation may be, uh, uh, whereby you may be saved, man. You got to remember those names, man. Yahweh, the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai, the name of his son. That's the only way you're going to be saved, man. You see, picking up this plow, making the calling of your election sure, doing everything that you can to receive this deliverance, man. You see, the elect are truly going to give up their lives within this world and repent and try to follow after Yahweh by Shem Shai. And anything that's in the way, man, hey, let it go, man. Let it go. Because we know and understand that there's a greater rule to come, man. This place is over. People wearing masks. All the, the talking about making people get a vaccination, you see. All these different wars st stirring up, man. All these different riots and things. Have, they just stormed the capital. Martial law is going to be instated soon, man. You see? As we just read, verse 7. Raise up indignation and power and... So like, raise up indignation and pour out wrath. That's what's coming, man. All right? And Esau ain't going to go ain't gonna go easy, man. As we go on, what it say? And the adversary... Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. 
The enemy ain't going to go easy, man. He ain't going to just give up this world on a silver platter. There's going to be a lot of death and destruction. And two-thirds of you are going to be consumed and destroyed within it, man. And one-third of us got to be diligent and, and stay firm under the point of death, man. Death before dishonor. Shalom. Call Allah, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Hashem, Rekak, Dash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles and peace, love, blessings, salutations unto you elect. Lord, willingness is edifying. Shalom.